To better understand leucine, it helps to understand where it fits into the bigger picture of nutrition. I'm sure you're familiar with protein and just how important it is. People often say things like, proteins are the building blocks of the body. In reality though, the true building blocks of the body are what the protein is actually made up of, which is a selection of various amino acids. All of these amino acids serve different purposes in the body. Because of this, in order for a food to be considered an adequate protein source, a food needs to contain all nine of the essential amino acids necessary for the dietary needs of humans. As I said, each of these essential amino acids has a different function in the body. So what would happen if you were to cherry pick the amino acid with the greatest benefits to muscle gain and supplement with that? Then you'd be supplementing leucine, part of the family of three known as the branched chain amino acids. Although you will sometimes hear about people supplementing with BCAAs, many studies have actually shown leucine is so beneficial that it is better to supplement with just leucine versus a mix of the three BCAAs. This is why it is sometimes referred to as the main amino acid due to the most popular benefit of BCAAs, muscle building, being mostly due to leucine. Leucine activates the mTOR pathways, which then induce muscle protein synthesis, aka the building of muscle. Think of mTOR as the amino acid sensor of the cell. mTOR is sensitive to leucine concentrations. Decreasing leucine concentrations signal to mTOR that there is not enough dietary protein present to synthesize new skeletal muscle, and it is deactivated. As leucine concentrations increase, it signals to mTOR that there is sufficient dietary protein to synthesize new skeletal muscle, and mTOR is activated, meaning the cell begins the process of adding protein and growing. While the other two BCAAs do also activate mTOR, they are much weaker than leucine in doing so. And as a result of that, 5 grams of leucine will be more effective than 5 grams of mixed BCAAs. In one study, 4 grams of leucine was given daily to a group of untrained men who were participating in a resistance training protocol. The placebo group received nothing. At the end of the study, the group who was supplementing with leucine saw a 40.8% increase in their strength versus the placebo group who saw just a 31% increase in strength. This is the point where most videos would say, but you're already getting it in your diet, so as long as you're getting enough protein, you're good. But here's the thing, not all protein has an equal amount of leucine. When a food contains enough of all the amino acids which we can only get through diet, it is said to be a complete protein source. But since these foods just need to meet a minimum level of amino acids to be considered complete, the protein molecules all have different levels of the amino acids. This is why a gram of protein can mean something different depending on its source. As an example, to be considered a complete protein, a food needs a minimum of just 7 milligrams of tryptophan, but it needs a minimum of 55 milligrams of leucine per gram of protein. This also means that while a gram of protein from one source may have 55 milligrams of leucine, that's just a minimum. A gram of protein from another source could have 85 milligrams of leucine. Let's imagine two athletes each decide to consume 200 grams of protein. One selects a protein which contains a lower amount of leucine. The other chooses one which contains more leucine. They are each getting the same amount of protein, but one of them can end up getting several more grams of that all-important muscle-building leucine. If you shoot for 200 grams of protein a day, you could be getting anywhere between 11 grams of leucine and 18 grams of leucine just based on the decisions you're making of which protein you'll eat. This is why, given that science has agreed leucine is so important, it's worth considering supplementing if you want to take the guesswork out of how much you're getting. If you'd rather not spend the extra money on supplements, trust me, I get it. I know how you feel. That's why I've put together a list of protein sources with the highest leucine contents. Include plenty of these in your diet, and you'll be getting above average amounts of leucine. I hope this video was able to answer whatever question led you to YouTube leucine in the first place. Until next time, D-Man signing off.